Welcome to another edition of Web Chat with the Warden. I'm Chris McMillan, joined by Warden Larry Martin. Larry, we just wrapped up budget talks. Um, I know the, the, the one number that people really watch out for is the increase on the levy, so the increase to um, property taxes. Uh, can you explain how you guys were able to get that number down from uh, 8%? Well, there was some money that we had to take. We transferred money out of reserves over to cover off some of the uh, the extra 2% is what it amounted to. And then there was another railway crossing. It was about 122000 and that was transferred out of a road reserve to cover that off. But uh, we got it down that way. I think it was 59 we ended up at. So uh, it, it's there, I guess. So that's how we got it down from 8 to 6. Uh, and in terms of the 6% increase, so what are some factors that would come into that? Well, the, ba the biggest single item, I would say, would be the increased and in enhanced uh, service for the uh, ambulance service. Uh, we've uh, increased the hours of ambulance service in Drumbo, and we've added a new ambulance into uh, one Woodstock station, and we're purchasing two replacements. So that's three ambulances we had to purchase, plus when you increase ambulances and hours, you also have to cr increase manpower. So we've had to do that as well. And it is, I'm gonna say, the biggest single issue that before that, the, uh, the rural urban areas were receiving 86% of the service and the rurals was getting 14. So this is hopefully gonna solve some of that problem, balance that out, even it out a little bit anyway. Absolutely. And you can find a complete report on the budget on our website, heartfm.ca. I'll link you over to uh, the actual budget from Oxford County as well. Uh, the other big issue um, coming out of the meeting last Wednesday um, was some adjustments to speed zones. So one was in Norwich Township. Um, can you explain the, the need for that, um, that lowered speed zone in some of the school areas? Well, it's more of a calming, traffic calming uh, situation than anything else. Out at the east end of town, there's a, a church, a senior's home, and a very large uh, uh, health base or religious-based school there. And the traffic comes in from the east at a pretty good clip. So we figured, well, you know, if we can put that out there and slow them down at least some a little bit more than what they have been doing, it's uh, making the road safer for our children, and we got to look after our future. Absolutely. And where was the other speed zone change? Uh, there was one, I think it's by A.J. Baker, by uh, Embro. Then that would be in uh, Zora Township, of course. Zora, Zora on uh, County Road 6. Perfect. Anything else you'd like to add, Larry? No, I think that uh, as far as the uh, budget goes, it is a little bit higher than we would like to see. But at the end of the day, we were looking at it, looked at it, and we've had four business meetings uh, re pertaining to the budget. And at the end of those four meetings, that was all that we were able to come up with because there's a lot of necessities there and needs. And a big portion of it like goes to roads and infrastructure. Like there's $18 million scheduled for road work and bridges and culverts. So we're spending it where we need to spend it. All right. Well, make sure to uh, check us out again next time for another edition of Web Chat with the Warden. I'm Chris McMillan, joined as always by Warden Larry Martin.